of you to join us again uh, on the line so we can go through some of these questions, get input from each of you. Uh, first, I want to uh, talk about an increase in regulations. Uh, Marina, we'll start with you and then Alejandra. An attendee wanting to know, uh, do you see this increase in regulations impacting litigation uh, and what's to come this year and years to come? That's a great question, and, and the answer is yes. I think we've already seen that increase in regs impacting litigation. At least we've seen the beginnings of it. A CERCLA designation or, or designation of hazardous substances under the Superfund law will, of course, increase EPA's regulatory authority, but also increase the odds that water providers need to shift costs downstream to their users or other potential, you know, potentially responsible parties. Also, with the reporting rules coming into effect under the TRI or TSCA programs, we now have potentially significant sources of litigation targets being publicly available. So I think both of those things are, are sort of a, a sign of what could be to come in terms of, you know, the litigation expanding based on where the regulations are headed. Thank you so much. Alejandra, your thoughts? Yeah, so um, that's the same for litigation funding. We absolutely will expect litigation to change. Um, as a comparison, if you think about it, there was a time when we were not required to provide insurance information, but insurance was is such an important part of litigation because they, you know, either are covering the costs or covering part of the costs, and therefore, and frankly, at times also directing the way litigation is going to be run. And so all states and the federal rules require some form of uh, insurance disclosure nowadays, at least if it directly impacts how that party is going to be able to cover any litigation expenses. So we've already seen it that way for insurance for a while. And I think we're, we can definitely expect that to be the case for litigation funding as well. Um, what the disclosure requirements will be, I think it's still is still something they're working on. Um, and so I don't know what level of regulation in addition to disclosure requirements we're going to see, but I do think it will shape our litigation, not just because it may affect the volume that we're seeing, it might reduce that, frankly, if there is more uh, regulation, but also it's going to change what we're required to, to tell the other side about who is running the case. And that can be both good and bad, I think, for for all parties.